Hey everyone and welcome back. So I'm doing a very special pickups video today because I finally got something I've wanted for several years. In fact, I haven't even opened it yet. It's actually in this box right here. I'm gonna actually open it on camera. So I'm hoping it arrived all day or you're basically just all gonna see me cry probably. <laughs> but before I get to that, I just wanna showcase a couple things real quick. So first up, I'm gonna show probably the thing uh, most of you probably won't even be interested in. And I did just pick up the Apple Wallet for the iPhone, which is is right here obviously it's the black one naturally and these things work with magnets uh you know in case you haven't seen them they just kind of that's it just kind of goes to the back uh connects to the back of your phone now i do use a regular wallet uh for most of this stuff but there are uh, on occasion in fact oh uh, later coming up later this week where i don't need to have my whole wallet on me i literally just need maybe like my driver's license and probably like one credit card and that's where something like this will actually come in handy for me so i decided to go ahead and get one i sort of debated it for the longest time i was like but you know what i could actually really use it on a couple occasions so i'm definitely going to give it a try and hopefully it does work out okay next up i did get in one movie and that is the infamous a Serbian film from Unearthed Films and this is their brand new uh, release of it I might be I think it's region A only and this is a slipcover and then here's the cover of the blu-ray underneath with which features the original poster artwork and then there's the back real quick it actually does come with a couple extras it has like two commentary tracks uh, has two different Q&A's and it does have a preview of the upcoming uh, documentary that they made on the making of a Serbian film now, I believe later this year they're actually is going to be like I think a director's cut which I think think that is what will have the uh, documentary on it as well. And I'm not sure if I've actually ever said this on camera, but uh, the first time I actually saw this film was right before this film like really kind of became infamous. So a buddy of mine ran a film festival and he was just like, you know, um, I got a screener of this film and I watched it and I'm not sure if I want to show it or not because it's really extreme. But at the same time, I think it actually could bring some notoriety to the film festival. And he kind of loosely told me about it. And I was just like, yeah, man, you know, because it's like if somebody tells me like I don't know this is kind of extreme I'm like well now I want to see it naturally I was just like well you have to show it now but even then at the time I still did not know that much about it so he showed it so this was a three-day uh film festival and he showed it it was the last movie uh Saturday night and I remember there was a problem with the projector because this this was a film printed back then even though this was shot uh, on a digitally on a red camera um the only way you could watch it at the time they didn't have DCPs of it so you did actually have a 35 millimeter print and this was only the second time if I'm not mistaken it had ever been shown in the United States I think it first time it was showed I believe was at the Austin Film Festival and then this was the second screening which was in Chicago and the projector there was some problem with the projector I think it needed a new bulb or something and they didn't have one they didn't run out and get it said so everyone kind of sitting around for like I think 45 minutes or something waiting you know for this infamous film to start and even then I didn't know that much about it so I'm sitting there and like it's just playing out in front of me and it's just like whoa and at the time I had a blog so I did sort of a mini review of it and that became like my biggest or more popular rather uh, thing I ever had on that blog like the, the hit count of that thing at the time was like through the roof so yeah just kind of funny to think back on <laughs> on that and the interesting thing about a Serbian film is that it's shot so well like it only I swear it almost looks like a David Fincher film it is shot so well it's acted so well but it has all of these you know extreme stuff in it but happy to have the unearthed films copy now just to get up the nerve to watch it again next up is just a real quick thing so uh as some of you know I've been wanting to get another one of these yes I do already have one but it is actually going to fit into uh the last remaining thing and that is the NECA Halloween 3 figures which you can see here some of you know I did get this a while ago and I did actually do a video on it but I did want a second pair at some point and I went to Target and my Target actually got these in I was like I'm grabbing it another thing they had which I don't remember seeing before are the NECA figure stands there's like 10 of them in here. So obviously I have a fair amount of NECA figures, like some of you do as well. A few of them stand fine and then other ones uh, not so well. So I definitely need stands. So I'm glad that my Target had them. I think it was only 10 bucks for these. So this should definitely help me quite a bit, especially my part five Jason just is constantly falling over. Okay, now finally we get to the big thing right here. Something I've wanted for so, so long. Make sure I don't dox myself, jeez. All right, let's open up this thing. Okay. Wow, this thing's really taped well. Hopefully it arrived okay, and I'll leave the guy a really good review. Open, open, open. I'm actually kind of nervous, because <laughs> I want to make sure this thing arrived okay. Almost. 
The thing is, I'm not really going to be getting um, a lot of posters and stuff anymore. There's only like a hand, a very small handful of ones that I'm going to get. But this was on my list of most wanted. And when I saw it, I was just like, it's like, I have to get it. All right, this should be my receipt. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, nice little thank you from the guy. Your order made my day. I hope this package makes yours. I hope so too. <laughs> Again, I've wanted this for an awfully long time. Okay, I got more tape I need to cut. That's good. I'm so glad this is as secure as it is. That actually makes me feel a lot better. I just have to be very careful here. I don't know how it is on the inside, so I need to be mindful of that. Uh, all right, I think. Nope, I got one more to do here. Oh, nope. More, more tape to cut. All right, this is taking longer than I thought it was going to take. But that's okay. Careful. Awful lot of tape. Oh, so he put it in two different things. Okay, ready for the big reveal? So I finally got the original lobby card set for Halloween 3. This is one of my most wanted uh, things, and I finally found one and was able to determine that indeed it was original because I was kind of, you know, that was sort of one of my concerns about some times when they pop up. Okay, here they are, all eight. Uh, just give me one second here. I'm actually gonna put these in order and then I'm gonna show them to you. So just real quick, here's a stamp on the back, which I hope you can see that, okay. Property of Consolidated Theater Services and from Ontario, Canada. That was part of the help to really determine that these are actually original because these are the US ones, but they were obviously sent to a Canadian theater to use to help promote the film. All right, so let me just show them off real quick. There is lobby card number one. And there is lobby card number two. And here is lobby card number three. This one I showed briefly here is lobby card number four. Look at that great shot there. And here is lobby card number five. And lobby card number six. Here's lobby card number seven. You can tell this one has a little bit of damage down in the bottom, but I did know about that ahead of time. And then finally, here is lobby card number eight. Now again, I've been wanting these for so, so long and I just missed out on them so many times, either because of price or because you just don't see them pop up that often. So when a full set uh, came up, I was watching it for a while and then finally it was just like, ugh, I need to at least try for it. And I did, I finally got them. So even though I'm not really collecting uh, too many of these anymore, in fact, even when it comes to lobby card sets, I don't think there's any others I'm gonna go after. It's a couple of posters I still would like to get, uh, but this was definitely one of the lobby card sets I was really, really looking forward to getting one day. And finally, here it is in my hands. The Halloween 3 lobby card set from 1982. So happy to have this for my collection. Obviously, I won't be selling these, especially since I just got them. So I definitely wanted to do a special pickups video as soon as these came in. Definitely a very special one. And you know what? It's the kind of thing where it's like, at this point, I mean, if I never get another lobby card set again, I'm okay, because this is definitely one that I've wanted for several years. So it was also fitting that I actually found the NECA uh, set at Target today as well. So I found that, got home, and here's my package with my lobby cards. So I wanted to share this moment with all of you. Definitely let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you picked up anything recently as well. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.